The head of BCE appeared before a parliamentary committee on Canadian heritage today. MPs wanted answers from Mirko Bibic. At issue, jobs the company cut earlier this year. CTV's Adrian Gobriel covering the appearance today and has more on what was said. Adrian. Todd, following Bell Canada's most recent layoffs, backlash was swift from members of parliament, even the prime minister. And today, Bell's CEO, Mirko Bibic, testified on Parliament Hill. Since I became CEO in 2020, Bell invested, Bell Media has invested more than $1 billion in capital to better serve our viewers. And this is on top of the almost $1.7 billion a year we invest in content. Yet despite these massive investments, CTV conventional stations lost more than $180 million last year, and Bell Media loses more than $40 million a year on news alone. In February, Bell Canada Enterprises, Inc., the parent company of CTV News, announced it was cutting 4,800 positions from its workforce, including multiple CTV newscasts and selling 45 of its 103 radio stations. Ahead of today's hearing in Ottawa, Bell issued this press release titled Facts Matter, saying in part that Canada's traditional media sector is in crisis due to changing consumer habits, technological disruptions, shifting advertiser demand, and vigorous competition from foreign streamers and global web giants. One communications professor believes Bell Media has a moral and regulatory responsibility to deliver, fund and sustain a robust news division from coast to coast to coast. We're losing a lot of really good journalists who provide an essential function within not just Canadian democracy, but any democracy. This cuts to the core of what we need in a democratic society. During his opening remarks today, Bibic told the committee that Bell has paid nearly $2 billion in regulatory fees, while streaming giants like Netflix, Disney, Amazon and others haven't paid a cent. Todd? All right, Adrian Gobriel. Thank you, Adrian, for that.